every chart has a definitive mark. For example, the mark of a bar chart is a horizontal bar, the mark of a column chart is a vertical bar, and the mark of a line chart are points, which are connected by a line that's a timeline. Now, those marks mostly use the position of numbers to emphasize their messages. So, for example, if one bar starts from 0 and reaches 10, and another bar starts from 0 and reaches 12, bar 2 is more than bar 1 because bar 2 reaches 12 and bar 1 only stops at 10. And that's basically the message in that. So, essentially, to display the relationship between data categories and their summarized quantities, we place them on axes. One axis is going to indicate the category. The other axis will indicate how much quantity that category has. And that's what we call our X axis and our Y axis. But they may not exactly be the same thing for every chart that has x and y axis so for example let's say i'm about to draw one chart now this is going to be my y axis and this is going to be my x axis i bet you can't tell what kind of charts i'm going to draw here right now or maybe i want to draw another chart now of course that's going to be my y axis for the next chart and this is going to be my x axis and also you don't know what type of chart this is going to be right then a third one y axis and x axis so for my first chart basically that could be a column chart like this and this column chart is displaying the category on the x axis and the quantities on the y axis right now the second chart which happens to be a bar chart now is displaying the categories on the y axis and the quantities on the x axis while the third chart which is a line chart is also displaying the categories on the x axis and the quantities on the y axis so we have x and y axis basically used to plot the position of quantities against their categories and it can be different depending on the kind of chart that we are using so as we see now Y axis on a column chart is used for quantities, but Y axis on a bar chart is used for categories. So it all depends. And that's X and Y axis. So the roles of the X and Y axis is to display the main categorical and quantitative data fields. The legends, though, play a different role. And the role legend play is to break down the category of the chart by something else. So I can be displaying the number of students that made different grades from A, B, C, or D like this, but I may want to further break down each of the categories by something else. Say I want to show the MBA students and the MSc students. So out of these five people, for example, who have scored grade A, I want to indicate how many of the five are MBA students and how many of them are BSc students. So I'm going to need to bring in my program type as a legend to break down each of these categories. So now when I look at each category, I can basically see two pieces of information. I can see an indication of how many are MBA and how many are BSc. And that's possible because I probably would have used program type as a legend on each of these charts. 